for the commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be a special one because it is a 2v2 with some of the players I absolutely adore. In the upper right-hand corner, we have Oxer starting as the Midnight Blue. He is on Team Ash. We have Rancor, Caddy Corner as the Grey Zerg. Bottom right-hand corner, we have Jiraiya from Team Urk, Maddenho. Upper left-hand corner as the Mustard Yellow. Mustard Yellow Terran. And this is going to be a 2v2 on Luna. Luna has a special place in my heart because the very first Foreigner game I got to commentate was actually Skew versus Yosh on Luna. It is... It was one of those fairly popular maps, kind of a Lost Temple-ish thing where you got the natural expansion here. Uh, you've got Exposed. It's an old map. Uh, three clock base, three clock base, mineral only. It was kind of in the era where you had a natural expansion with the gas and then you basically had mineral only bases uh, across the rest of the field. But very droppable, very open droppable areas. I'm going to try to keep up with the action from here, but it might be challenging because 2v2 can get nuts very, very rapidly. It looks like we do have an Overlord first build top left. It looks like we have a nine pool uh, bottom left from Team Ash. So a little bit more of an economic opener from Oxerg, but Zergling pressure is going to be from Rancor. And we know Rancor, he's, he's real. I love watching Rancor's style of play. Very proficient with those early game Zerglings, dropping the Extractor to get that Zergling speed, presumably, as well. Overlord's making its way bottom right to go ahead and check out what is doing. Jiraiya is one of the better 2v2 players out there right now in the Foreigner scene. Looks like he's going to drop after a, a pool, after an overpool. So, spawning pool, building... I think that was a 12 pool, actually, if I was paying attention close enough. We have a barracks building in the upper left-hand corner. So... In the official Korean leagues, usually what they would do is, is they would make Zerg versus Zerg, they would make double Zerg legal. And I'm not sure why that is allowed in the foreigner leagues comparatively, maybe just because the micro is just, uh, it's not to the point where the micro is so astounding that just early game Zerglings and Mutalisks obliterate absolutely everybody. But I will say double Zerg, when you can get Mutalisks out in the air in large bundles, it can be absolutely devastating. Gas mining this direction. It looks like we're going to see a tech to layer. So Oxerg's going to provide more of the air support, the ground support there from Rancor. He's starting to move out. We do see a hatchery being placed interior on the ridge to be a, a tad more defensible. The Zergling's making the way bottom right for Rancor. Zergling's in production. There should be plenty of defense in time. And it's going to be hard. So I, I think this might end up favoring Team Ash, just because Caddy Corner, it's hard to get defense out there. And more, uh, more or less, I'm wondering if Jiraiya might be on his own, and if he's going to have to take on two players simultaneously. Third, so canceling that hatch, rebuilding in his main, trying to get a Sutton Colony down, and gathering around it. Rancor holding currently. The Zerglings making their way out. It looks like they are making their way upper left, just to see what's going on. A bunker's already there, with two barracks gas also being grabbed. So it looks like they're not going to group up. So now the Zerglings looking to engage, or at least, yeah, so a lot of Zerglings piling out. A hatchery, it looks like there is some scouting from Maddenho. Second hatchery being grabbed there. This is going to give a larva lead with that hatchery coming online a bit more rapidly. I don't think Oxerg wants any part of this action here. He's got that Spire already building alongside his base to get some of that airplay. But here's the thing. Jiraiya, if he can just absorb damage for a bit of time and allow that... Medic Marine Ball to grow. That will be that. Looks like that gas is a bit exposed, so that's taking damage. With that, the Zerglings exiting, there's a reverse contain from Rancor bottom right to prevent any sort of support. Natural expansions being grabbed from Oxerg, feeling like, okay, we're in the aggressor position, so we should be able to defend. Group Repair SCV, preventing that gas from getting dropped. That bunker defending absolutely everything. You can just see the, the shell of defense right there. No more gas for Rancor, so Rancor is just going to stick to Zerglings thus far. So boxing Jiraiya in. Jiraiya has not made any moves towards Lair, so he needs to be very, very careful because as soon as Mutalists take flight from Oxerg, we could see a trade, some Zerglings created to occupy top left, and then just a double whammy kill bottom right. More supply depots and a nice, solid... Look at this. This reminds me of the old school days things boxing in. Evolution Chamber dropping for Jiraiya, I think, realizing that he's going to have to buy time and play a little bit more anti-air. Rancor fielding more Zerglings, a defensive creep colony on the front as well. Rancor playing a very light economy. The Zerglings starting to stream bottom right here for Oxerg as well. And Ishimulisks are being produced, and unfortunately, yeah, there's a group of Medic Marines which can shoot through those Zerglings. 
but I don't think they're sufficient. They will have stim. I don't think it's sufficient to deal with all of these Zerglings, and as soon as those Mutalisks make their way bottom right, it is going to be a lot of trouble for Jiraiya. So Jiraiya, dropping that creep colony, has two of them potentially to turn into Spore, is piling the Zerglings towards that natural to again just try to buy time, and if he can absorb both these attacks, that will end up being game in Team Urk's favor. A third creep colony being dropped behind the lines, and here come the Mutalisks. Already wiping out Overlords there, that's provoking some movement. The Zergling sees the movement. No movement up the ramp, though. So, two Spore Colonies being produced. And it looks like there... Is there going to be a counterattack from Maddenho up or right to draw the rest of those troops back? The Mutalist pushing those Zerglings off the line. The Mutalist going to retreat towards the top right to provide some defense there. Rancor initially breaching, but pulling right back. And with that... Jiraiya going to reestablish that line. A, a few Zerglings scattering here and there. The Mutalist trying to find that Medic Marine Force and some Fire Bats alongside, so that could be a big whammy. Rancor flooding the Zerglings to contain Jiraiya, make sure that he can't join. The Mutalist flying over that Medic Marine Ball. One Mutalist already down. And now, Maddenho is a big problem as he's got enough Medic Marine to potentially punch through top right and potentially just chew through all the Zerglings if he can get moving out on the field. However, so the Mutalists away from where they could probably be most effective bottom right. The Firebats in tow with those Medic Marines mean that infinite Zerglings would have trouble. Plus one weapons upgrading here. Rancor either needs to commit or get out of dodge because hot on his tail. Maddenho looking to engage. Oh, turning him around, getting another Mutalist kill. <laughs> Another Mulus at half health, so more Zerglings fielding, but the timing of it looks like Jiraiya is going to be able to pin down. The Mules try to create some delay here. And Rancor not able to dedicate his Zerglings either direction. Firebat leading, they are away from those medics. Now, Mulus trying to engage with those Zerglings. It's not happening. Rancor trying to engage up the ramp and the Mule and the Marine Medic Marine Force from the rear. It looks like that is going to be enough of a combination attack to wipe out what's there, but Jiraiya has now broken out with his Zerglings. He has no anti-air, but the medics heal those Zerglings, which means they can get a little, mix a little bit in that fight. Looks like they are gonna get obliterated and pushed back. Rancor still sitting at the, the seven drone count. More Zerglings breaching through. There's a sunken colony, now a tech to layer for Jiraiya bottom right. And honestly, the way it's looking with the three barracks humming, the factory coming online, medic marines, Soon to be, well, soon to be plus one. Yeah, soon to be plus one. I don't know that Maddenho and Rancor have enough to either assault bottom right or top left and pull it out. So I think Team Urk currently might be able to turn this into a macro lead. And with these two medics to support, if they can get some energy back, to support all these Zerglings, these Zerglings have an interesting advantage that you only see in 2v2 matches. Some Zerglings getting swatted down top left. Mutalisks examining, trying to, yeah, trying to find angles to deal with those Marines. That's sufficient Marines to deal with that overall. Some Zerglings being taken out bottom right. And yeah, you can see Maddenho pointing out just pure Ling from Rancor. That is all you're going to be looking at. More sp Spore Colonies being dropped. There's only the two something Colonies, but that might be sufficient with that staggered defense right there. More Zerglings being fielded from Rancor out of this double hatch. Yeah, he's just gone nothing but pure Zergling, and he doesn't seem to be making any movements any other direction. Rancor now starting to make that Zergling grouping move top left. There was a bit of an attack bottom right. One Spore Colony down. And it looks like that there is going to be an angle. The Zerglings trying to provide some support, but honestly, these Zerglings will get absolutely melted, especially with zero upgrades against these plus one stim medic marines upper left. So Rancor engaging there. That's getting obliterated. The Zerglings starting to run out. Now, as those Mutalists are drawing back, and now it is a possible 2-1 combo attack from Maddenho and Jiraiya in the form of Zerglings. Rancor trying to cut off the reinforcements, but those Mutalists, yeah, I don't, well, there's enough Mutalists here, and they're gonna have plus one weapons shortly. That this, yeah, they do have plus one weapons where they should be able to shred these Medic Marine forces, but right now the Micro's not there and they're losing a lot of health. A lot of health. And, that, and that's also bought more time for Maddenho. And keep in mind, the Rancor this entire time is sit at seven drones. So that, so defended, cleaned up, there's three hatcheries top right. Lair is there. It's just going to be Mutalist Zergling here from Oxerg all the way across. Able to clean up that attack. Rancor looking to push out, spot some of this attack. But the overall economy 
for Jiraiya and Maddenho is significantly stronger. He's dropping his Spire right now. There's going to be a dropship out. I was looking for the Science Vessel and Irradiate, but it looks like that dropship is going to be ahead of it. Not a lot of medics with the Marine Forces, but the Marines do have plus one. With this drop at either location, it could be devastating. Fourth Barracks being dropped as well. Looking for this. Because honestly, as soon as that Science Vessel comes out and irradiates there, that could be end game. Spire just about to finish. Rancor making his way bottom right with those Zerglings. Oxerg pulling back to defend. A couple Zerglings getting caught midfield, it looks like. Rancor with all of the Zerglings top right wants to make another shot at this. You have the Medics with a good amount of energy, the Zerglings in between. Feels like Rancor's just throwing Zerglings away against the SimCity. Yeah, I think he realizes that and is just going to flat out back out. The drop, however, in the bottom left on Rancor's main is devastating. All the drones are gone. Rancor's at zero drones. Hatchery is wiped out. And now... Team Ash needs to make something happen. So the Mutals are going to group up. The Zerglings are going to group up. They're going to try to breach the ramp. There's Medic Marines right there at the wall, though. Counterattack of Zerglings to upper right from Jiraiya to finish the game. It looks like this might be a breach, but keep in mind there's still a bunker behind this. So they're able to make their way through, but the Zerglings mixing it up. It looks like Mutalists are there to engage, top right. Rancor is effectively out of this, so it is going to be a 2v1 at this stage. There's also that Science Vessel on Irradiate, not that far from finishing. Group repair on the bunker. It's going to chew through what's left of the Mutalists, and I believe with that, Team Urk is going to take the win. Because right now, more Mutalists taking flight, starting to make their way out. There's no defensive spore colonies at the main. There is a larger attack force. However, the follow-up is going... Oh, look at this. Rancor was actually able to sneak out three drones. He's trying to distance mine at the natural. Not for long, though. Unfortunately, the Sutton colonies do not reach that corner. So that will be it for Rancor. I like the spirited attempt to sneak back into this. Now it is officially a 2v1. Oxer chasing the Mutalists back to the bottom right-hand corner. Yeah, now Rancor out of it. He's got six minerals to his main, so it's just going to be Sutton Colonies to defend. Otherwise, he does not have a natural expansion up. Irradiate is online. Four barracks pumping. He's got a Zerg ally who's still absorbing damage. I think what's left, yeah, the last few Zerglings for Rancor are going to try to sneak in, find the pocket corner, chewing that evolution chamber away. He's still going to be in this because he's going to have those Sutton Colonies at least to work with, but Oxerk has a lot of, t lot of ground to cover. He's got 24 drones, is dropping a ton of something colonies to try to make it. I don't know that that's going to be sufficient. One, between Jiraiya's ability to just pump units, I don't think he needs to drop these. He's dropping creep colonies. He really doesn't need to. He's sitting at that eight drone count right now. He's well defended at this stage. Maybe just going to rely on Maddenho to do the busting. Maddenho has a big medic marine grouping. He's got a dropship to fly over those something colonies if he so desires. He will have Mutalist support in some form or another. It looks like the Mutalist is going to group up and try to re-engage. Ten Mutalists trying to make it happen versus five, but there is Spore support. Zerglings aren't going to accomplish Yeah, The Zerglings trying to get in the way and create some distraction. It's not going to happen. That second Spore colony is going to get wiped out. And look at this. So Maddenho actually being drawn bottom right. The drone's trying to sneak in for Rancor to attack. Yeah, he's doing absolutely everything he can with what he's got left. Now attacking that Spore colony. So still trying to make it worthwhile. The Zergling's going to be able to wipe that out. But the Mutalists, yeah, getting grouped, hitting that Irradiate. A decent split to pull that Irradiate. But a second Irradiate drops. And now those Mutalists are fleeing. Jiraiya has defended. He can start droning up if he wants. Add some more Mutalists to attack the fray. Oxerg sending everything out. He needs to just pile drive the upper left and hope that he can take Maddenho out. Otherwise... He's in deep trouble. Four Sunkins on the on the front, a fifth one morphing. He's still at Layer Tech. S still working with plus one weapons. Medic Marines right there to obliterate. There's a science vessel nearby that just now has a radiate. And this might be it. Oxerg supply capped currently, now in the red. Zerglings grouping up with Mutalus. Mutalus now diving into the main. No spore colonies right there. I'm shocked we haven't seen a GG yet. And that, yeah, single mutals trying to chase what's left. Some mutals, oh, are they going to be able to pick? No. Trying to swing around, cut off reinforcements, but they're also exposed to irradiate right there. 
And now the army gathers outside the natural expansion. I'm waiting for that dropship to join in just to drop some medic marines along the side. Here's the other thing. These mutalists, I believe medics can heal mutalists as well, which is just a devastating combo when you think about it. Medic marines, zerglings, mutalists driving into that natural expansion. Five sunk colonies not going to be sufficient. Irradiate dropped. There's GG from Oxerg. And Team Earth takes it. And a fun one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for listening.